Well, hello, everybody. This is Bishop Ron Archer here at the Places of Hope. And the director of our program is Cynthia Hughes. Hello, Cynthia. Hello there. And these are the residents that stay within the organization. And we're having some time of fellowship and having a pizza celebration. And then we'll have a chance to give you a tour of the facility and also where they do most of their work. So, Cindy, we are so blessed that you are a fantastic director. And tell us a bit about your program, what you provide for those that stay in the Places of Hope. Uh, what I provide is uh, a housing, you know, yeah. it comes all furnished, and I provide uh, helping them with their uh, medical appointments, you know, doctor's appointments, and I uh, provide them with taking them grocery shopping and, um, you know, to any, any little places that they may need to social, go. Social Security. You know, and, uh, yeah. so, and help them get on Social Security, get Social Security benefits okay. going for them. All right. And uh, mainly keep up with their, their health care uh, program. Okay. Make sure everybody uh, is, uh, is healthy because I take them to the doctors and things like that. So you get full care. Yeah, I do. I, yeah. I, I help them out. Where, where, whatever the need is. Yes. Is, where, is what I do. <laughs> Do you ever take them shopping? Do they ever go oh, like to oh, food oh, pantries, all oh, that stuff? Oh, we, we go there faithfully every month. Oh, yeah? Food pantries. Okay. We go to the grocery stores faithfully at least two times a month. That's outstanding. You know, all right. You go to the pharmacy and pick up our medicine. Oh, medication. yes. yes not outstanding. Medicine. Wow. Go to the pharmacies and uh, pick up their medicine. Okay. You ever go to the beach, like go down to Lake Erie? You ever do that? Yes. yes. She takes us all over. What? Yes. Okay, give me some places that she takes you. Go ahead, Scott. Down to the beach. Uh, to the movies. What? Yeah. She don't take me to the movies. To she don't take me nowhere. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we go out to lunch. What? Yeah, yeah. Where, where do you go sometimes for lunch? Tower City. Tower, Tower, City? Tower City? She took me to McDonald's once. That's about it. That's all I went. <laughs> Tower City. Man, that's, 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 that, that's high cotton down there, downtown. Wow, wow. You ever go to um, uh, Edgewater? Edgewater oh, Park. That's that's on the it's that's on the called, lake. It's called Whiskey Island. Whiskey Island. Wow, that, that's, that's, that's pretty that's nice. The lake is. That's where they did all the renovation and whatnot. Well, that's awesome. Amen. Well, that's fantastic. We enjoy going down yeah. there. Yeah. What do you What do you enjoy most about uh, the services that Cindy provides for you? What, what do you enjoy about, about her as the director of the program? She don't deny us anything. If she can help us, she gonna help us. That is amazing. She'll go out of her way to help us. So she treats you like family, then. Yes. yes. That is awesome. Very yeah. much. Very much so. You feel like family? Yes. She's very all right. Good. I'm God blessed to have her. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. All right. So, where do you think you would be if it wasn't for the program she has for you? What do you think? I'd probably be on the street. You think so? Yeah. Why? You think so? Yes. You know so. What? Yes. For real? Yeah. I'm tired of being on the street. All right now. Well, that's why you got the Place of Hope and Cynthia Hughes' program. Um, so, she takes you to get your medication. She takes you shopping for food. She takes you to Tower City. To eat and takes you to Edgewater Park to go to the lake. My goodness. Yeah. To, our appointments, to your appointments and to your doctors. Wow. I've several times with her and her sister out, you know, go to appointment and we stop and get something to eat. Wow. Her and her sister. Yeah, and yeah. She's, uh, you know, like you say, she's a very nice lady. Yeah. She, you know, she goes out of way to help, you know, all of us. Amen. And, you know, I hope, I know I appreciate it. I hope everybody else will. Uh, and, uh, I appreciate it. I Amen. wouldn't say I would be out on the street, but I would say this that uh I'd probably be in a nursing home or somewhere. Wow. And I'd have been there before and so I know how that how that is. Ooh. Yes. So uh and like I said, you know, I have to be picked up, I'd be somewhere and I call her, you know, she you know, she'll come pick me up and take me home. Amen. You know Amen. I mean? I, I was in a nursing home, and she got me out and straightened me out very much. Wow. You look good, man. Got the mustache going. Got the slick hair back. <laughs> look like Jack Nicholson. Yeah, he like he was, Thanks to he her, huh? Like, yeah? He like he was in a uh, mirror uh, all What, 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 what? <laughs> so, 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 how did she get you straightened up? What did she do? She just put me in line. Put me in check. <laughs> I did is uh, cut down on, on his beer, but he right. he had a, has an alcohol problem. Okay, all right. And uh, uh, she cut me down a lot. I wow, down wow. Down. He doesn't have, have that problem. Pray, you look good, man. I feel much better. You feel much better. That is outstanding work, man. That is beautiful. But the, the main thing I like about it is, you know, I feel safe when that. Wow, That's very good. Thing, feel you know, safe, huh? Safe. That's good. Because you know, when I talk to my my friends from high school, yeah. And you know, that's where I live. I say Quincy, 
And you know, and these, you know, these ain't just blacks; these whites. Cause yeah, they, yeah. I went to Heights, so you know, like, uh -huh. you know, they come down and visit me, take me uh, to uh, uh, to the, to the library in Cleveland Heights from Coventry, and where we do, uh, you know, stuff to help me with my back and my knee. And my wow. Thing. Like I said, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just blessed. That Amen. Have Amen. I can call Amen. Can Amen. Not Amen. Not just her, but like I say, she's with me like 24-7. That's right. You know, that's right. To come by, it might be an hour or two. Yeah, days. yeah. That's but good. I, and I can always, in the nursing home. Yeah, I can always help. I can, like I say, she got me at the nursing home. Yeah. You know, and, you know, like I say, it was three other people before her. Yes. Who interviewed me. Yes. Who me come in. Right. But, uh. The way she spoke and the way she looked and the way she reacted to some things I was saying. I, yes. I felt more comfortable to go with her. Amen. Amen. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. So, yeah. You know, but it, it comes a time when, you know, I'm going to have to leave. Yeah, at some point. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. but uh, I'm getting everything out the way because, you know, I didn't have spinal surgery. Wow. Knee replacement. Yes. Valve put in my heart. Man. Uh, you look like the six surgery. million dollar man. Yeah, six uh, surgery underneath my arm. I'm telling you. And surgery on the back of my head. Yeah. And I got an aneurysm on the left eye. So wow, wow, wow. Know, I got all these things going on, but I you know, I give it all to Jesus Christ. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. And uh and then like I said, I can talk to her about yes. any, you know, problems I made. Amen. Have, Amen. You no know, matter what no matter what they are. That's right. Like I say, me and her sat down and she took she took care of my uh Social security. There you go. With a job and family services. Yes, and yes. All that, and I appreciate it for that. Amen. You know, because I didn't know how to do that. <laughs> uh, you know, like I said, uh, she has never turned me down. When Amen. I asked so Amen. I appreciate that. I may not tell her all the time, but I do appreciate Amen. that. Amen. Thank like you. Said, Thank she, you. She helped me. Yeah. And, and, you know, in my life right now where I needed help. Amen. You know, she helped me and. You know, I didn't, you know, even though I had all this, I'm still stronger. Yes. My mind, you know, my spirit and my heart says, don't worry about that. Keep, you know, keep, keep, keep on moving. There keep you go. Moving. Amen. Like you said earlier about, yeah. uh, you know, when your time is up or whatever. Yeah. And what you done been through when you talk about what you've been through. Yeah. You know, and that, you know, that hit me you know, to my heart with what you said. Yes. Time. Yes. So I appreciate Amen. I appreciate being here right now. Amen. In front Amen. Of my fellow brothers, Amen. And sisters, and, and you, you especially, because <laughs> you, you know you speak real well. Boy, thank you. you know, thank you. I, I care that. about you guys. You know. Okay. So, so in the future, we plan to go maybe to some uh, baseball games and some things like that that I'll be sponsoring, and get out and do some more things. Anything else you have to say about the places of hope and about uh, the director Cynthia Hughes? Anything else? I, I'm gonna say the same thing. I'm not gonna say I would be out on the street, but. Man, as far as getting hurt and being DOA, it ain't nothing about the streets of Cleveland, streets of Detroit. Streets yeah, man. Of ain't none of that I don't know, man. Yes. I've been raised myself since eight years old. Wow, and wow. And I'm 60 now. Okay, you look I'm good in, for 60. I wound up in that nursing home and in them hospitals, and my whole body was destroyed. Wow. For one thing, with me, it's no mental instability, but it's all physical. You're right, you know, right, I right. I have had strokes. I didn't been shot up. But ain't none of it ain't happened, man. Yeah. But since when they came and uh, Cynthia came to the nursing home, yes, right? yes, I didn't even go look at none of the other places. Yes, as soon as I walked in that little place, yeah, there, man, there you go. The That's madness, it. Madness, you know. Yes. And I just right away, I just said, "This is what I want to do." Amen. Anybody else? To me, I would, to me, I would classify her as a miracle worker. What? The miracle worker. She she keeps me out of trouble. She does things that nobody else do. How does she do that? How does she keep you out of trouble? She would tell me, "I don't want you going to jail." Okay. You, you don't need to be messing with this person, this yes. person, or that person. All right. Keep them away from you. Yes. You'll be better off. And she never told me no lie. All right now. It's the truth. All right now. A little miracle worker, huh? Well, yeah, the, the, the part about family. family man. It's all, oh, what'd you say? The part about family. I didn't bury it. Both sides. Everybody, yeah. Everybody gone now. Yeah. Four or five brothers out there. Bro. Yeah. I'm 20 something years older than you. Okay. Them, and I ain't, you know, they not family. In, in my yeah. Life, I understand. Probably her and, and my minister is the only two family members I got. I got you, brother. You know, Family's not blood. It's about who loves you. Right. Anybody else? Yes, sir. Uh, Bishop. Yes, sir. I just got through doing 21 years, right? Yeah, man. And I'm OG. All right. All right, OG. I'm a serious OG. Okay. Your sister has made me want to give that OG status up. What? Because I, I met her through my PO. Okay. 
And you know, like I said, uh, when I met your, your sister and she showed this sincere help in rehabilitation, you know what I mean? Yes, yes. The first time in my life, I'm 80 years old. Okay. How am I old? 80. You look good, man. Thank you, my man. This is the first time in my life I ever felt like rehabilitating. What? Based on your sister's sincere efforts in helping me, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's beautiful. Because that's beautiful. Like, like I said, uh, Ain't no handicaps here. Yes, yes. For real, because I can go back out there and do the same thing I used to do. Yes. I went down for robbing an armored truck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I still got this gangster thing, but it's dormant because your sister. <laughs> I mean, for real, it's dormant because your sister. She, oh, my goodness. Because, I mean, you know, she's cool. And she's like, I, you know, I tease about being an OG. Right, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But, but uh, you know, I'm used to being around real people. Yes. And I've been in places where you have to be really to win real. That's right. You understand? Oh, yeah. And your sister is OG. Hell, she is. Big time. Yeah, big she time. Real, she OG. And by the way, she's my auntie. Uh, auntie. <laughs> yeah, she's my auntie. Your auntie is OG. Yeah, I know she is. But she keep it real. I know. And like, I tease about being a little gangster and all that. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> because she, she keep it real, though. She does. Don't she, though? Yeah, she keep it real. You know, and, and she you, keep it 100. 100. Yeah, and man. Like I said, the people that have been around, you can't bring no you know, BS to them. That's right. Because you got to bring the real to them. Amen. Amen. And when she says something, I listen to her. Amen. Because I know she gives it to him from her heart. That's, That's right. right. That's right. All right. But everything she gives me, it's a blessing to give. Amen. Amen. So I got to say about the sister, I mean, your, your uh, auntie. Your auntie. Yeah. Your auntie is the real deal. She's the executive director of Place of Hope, and we believe in her ministry, and we are here to build it and help and do more for it because she has a heart for people. You know what I'm saying? Because she does. Because you know what? You know, we didn't grow up rich, you know, and they were they you know grew up very hard times, man. So she understands where you come from. Understands you like to not have food and not have water, not have. So there's a compassion. That's why God sent you through stuff. So you don't forget what it's like, and you love people because you know that's where you used to be. Only by His grace, you're not there now. So now she want to pass the love on, and we want to pass the love on. And I'm so glad you guys are here at the Place of Hope. God bless you and God keep you.